Hey guys, welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be creating one of my favorite projects, a tessellation. And a tessellation is simply a design that's similar to a puzzle where pieces repeat over and over and fit together. And this is my example here. And we also used value within our design and we'll talk a little bit about that. So now I'm going to show you how to get started. Have fun. The supplies you'll need for today's project are a piece of paper, a cut square, minus three inches, a pencil, tape, scissors, and some colored pencils. We're going to be creating a tessellation today. And a tessellation is basically a pattern that is made from repeating a shape or shapes that fit together without any gaps or spaces between. And so to create our tessellation square, we will begin by drawing a shape that comes in from one side of the square. I'm going to start with a curved triangle. And I recommend after you draw the first shape to go ahead and cut it out. When we draw shapes from multiple sides, sometimes they end up overlapping or causing problems when we cut out and slide it across the square. And so it works best if you do one shape at a time. Once you've cut the shape out, you will simply slide it straight across the square and you will tape it there. You do not flip it or anything, it just goes straight across. And you can't overlap. Sometimes we forget and place this on top of this, but you just need the edges to meet up perfectly. And if your tape gets in the way, you can simply fold it over the shape like that. And now we're ready to draw the second shape. And I will do um, more of a curved shape to create a different design. And I will continue the process. I will cut this out. Once I've cut it out, I will slide it straight across the square, or in this case, straight above, and tape it accordingly. And so at this point, I would take it and line it up, come straight across, make sure that I'm not overlapping the paper, get a piece of tape, Place my tape there. Any leftover tape I can wrap around the edge. And then I would continue. I could draw another shape here and slide across and keep going. I've actually created one in advance. And this one is finished. I kept it really simple and just created three different shapes. So at this point, you would take your paper and you would figure out which position you think is interesting. It can be helpful if this is your first time to line it up in the corner and to begin tracing the shape of your tessellation. You will trace each shape that comes out as well as the cutouts. Once you're done tracing that one, then you would line it up and it would fit perfectly together. If you don't tape your shape straight across from where the cutout is, sometimes it won't match up and you can simply untape it and readjust it to make it fit. And then you would just keep going with your design. If you don't want it to line up in the quarter, you can turn it like a diamond shape in the middle. You can start at the side like this and just fit it together like a puzzle and work your way out. And I've already done that on the opposite side. And so there is my tessellation design. Now at this point, you get to decide how you want to design it. And we're gonna be using value today. And so I'm gonna be using some colored pencils because colored pencils are a great way to add value. And I'm going to start in the middle and you can do each tessellation one color and make a pattern or you can do designs within each tessellation. So I'm going to start out with my darkest value of black. And if you're not familiar with value, value is an element of art that simply deals with the lightness or darkness of a color. And so we see here, this is our darkest value and it goes lighter. So white is the lightest value and black is the darkest value. And so I'm starting here by applying a lot of pressure to create a dark value. And then as it comes further from that spot, it will get lighter and lighter.
installation turned out amazing. I'd love to see the results. Share them with me on social media at Samantha Wood Art. Thanks.